Yeah, so I guess what's going on in my world is I'm in uh, the middle of uh, Chapter 3. It's going pretty good so far, just getting into the all the crazy bends there. I think you were talking about the last time I talked to you there with the uh, the pre-bends and the slow bends and and uh, all that stuff there. So that, that's, that's right where I'm at, and uh, just getting ready to tackle that there right now. So making pretty good uh, you know, progress there, moving fast through uh, Chapter 3. And then I just started to pick up, uh, well, what I'm going to do is uh, start introducing uh, speed mechanics for uh, lead guitar there. Uh, is, is start using that as an adjunct going further on from here on in. It seems like it kind of like makes sense. Yeah, I always recommend th that people look at that book, Speed Mechanics, <clears throat> as being, um, like you said, an adjunct, uh, uh, a supplement to music you know you you've got to have you got to be playing music and then <clears throat> moving forward with that piece and the speed mechanics approach really allows you to target aspects of technique you know and that's great but i think a lot of people get a little carried away with the exercises speed mechanics and they get really good at playing exercises but then they kind of lose the connection to the purpose of the exercises is to improve technique to play music better. <laughs> and if you don't have music, you don't have enough music, uh, something's missing, you know? So I, I think that what you're talking about, um, you have kind of honed in on the center of that approach, which is, you know, yeah, go through the core method and, and playing, playing music and then using speed mechanics to just polish up certain aspects you'll probably notice in a need for it even more when you hit chapter four because chapter four metal lead guitar takes the t uh, i think it's up to 130 132 beats per minute now 16th no uh, licks and stuff so it's getting pretty fast moderately fast and that's a point where you probably you know it's going to help to go grab some of the speed mechanics drills you know, and, and, and that kind of focused practice is going to, you know, seat the ability to play more comfortably at those higher speeds. So it's good. I think you're on track. Anything else? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've also noticed. Uh, yeah, just, just in general, uh, my speed and uh, getting through a practicing is just like uh, improving there. I think. Well, you know, I think my biggest problem starting off was just getting up to speed, playing fast, you know. Uh, so I, I think I've reached that threshold where, like, yeah, I can start to play fast now, you know, and uh, getting all, uh, you know, mechanics down, you know, with uh, up, up beat and down beat and uh, picking mechanics and all that there. So, you know, it's just like uh, – and actually the art of practicing, you know, just like uh, – Going down weak points, like you said, uh, don't put everything through a microscope, going through your weak points and like kind of like polishing everything there, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's just that much more has been, has been making my practice a lot easier. Yeah, you know, it's it's a complex thing to uh, the you mentioned the term, the art of practice. That's really what it comes down to, which is of all about being able to see where you are and what you need to get to the next you know step of improvement and watch yourself to see what's working what's not working you know being aware of there you said like upbeat downbeat stuff like there there are those fundamental issues and a person you know usually needs to slow down enough to really get that and understand that and make sure that that is is right and then that becomes the foundation that you can build on a lot of times people make the mistake of wanting to jump in oh speed mechanics i can do that and then they go in and they start plaques and they do get faster but they've done it without having built the base and if you do it without the foundation it's it's only going to go a little bit and then it's going to falter and you're not going to get any better but what you what you said was key if you if you kind of come back reassess the base and iron out um weaknesses you know this is a <clears throat> this is kind of an ongoing um issue it's not a problem it's like an ongoing 
concern people often have. It's like, well, on the one hand, you want to strengthen your weaknesses. On the other hand, you want to increase your strengths. And there's validity to both aspects. If a person only ever looks at their weaknesses and constantly trying to improve their weaknesses, I think you kind of shortchange yourself. But if a person only focuses on their strengths, they're going to have these gaping holes in their fundamentals. And that's really going to hurt them too. So <clears throat> both approaches are are appropriate and they cut they factor into this thing you're saying art of practice is kind of like determining well which weaknesses are really so important that i have to i have to get this down and that's why you hear me going on these rants on on uh, the some of my videos uh they're on youtube telling people look you're missing it because the reason most people don't progress is because they're missing these gaping holes in their fundamentals. Their, their weaknesses are killing them and they don't realize it. And, and if you're in that situation, that's where all your attention really has to be. Without that, you can't, you can't move forward. So uh, it sounds like though you're getting that because I know you went through all of the rhythm guitar stuff and you were really, you know, focused on on, on on getting it right and that's that's another story that i hear a lot too where people will go through they'll go th they'll go through the methods they'll play a while they'll forget about the methods years will go by and then they'll kind of come back and they'll realize i never really got where i wanted as a player i'm going to go back and review it and then the second time through they actually have more awareness of what they what they really need to be doing and they actually do it and then they have that base and then you can build on it so anyway any way a person gets it you know um it, it's all it's it's kind of complicated because it's this it's an awareness thing you know what i mean you have to assess you know i can tell you principles all day long and you can play and think you're applying those principles but you might be or you might not be you know uh we have to connect and and make sure that you're on that right track but the bottom line is this if you tell me that you are feeling significant progress and the stability the reliability is there and the tempo's coming well that that's the evidence that tells me you're doing it right 